your life motivation Monday. I am your host, the love and life coach, Dale Lawrence. Salute to all of my soul tie soldiers. Last night, Spring Hill off the chain. Fire. Woo. Just like my teeth. Fire hot. Salute to all of my soul tie soldiers. Y'all know that is our tribe, y'all. This is the Soul Ties Movement, Soul Ties Nation. All of my soldiers, S-O-U-L-J-A-H. Chop that in half. You what you got? Ja, God, soul, our mind, heart, will. God over our souls. Come on, baby. That's it, baby. We are soldiers in the army of the Lord. <laughs> Yes, and the movement is active. This week, all roads lead to Shelbyville, Tennessee, where we're uh, operating off the Tennessee takeover right now. Tennessee takeover. Tennessee takeover. Yeah. Yeah. A part of the national U.S. tour of detox. How to detox from toxic relationships. You need to get to it because it's coming to a city near you. Without further ado, let's get into the business. I'm here to motivate you this week. Every Monday night, 8 p.m. Central Time. I give you life motivation for your life situation. Don't play with it. And tonight... Backdrop title, you saw it. Watch your mouth. <laughs> oh, I'm getting Memphis on y'all tonight. I'm getting gully. I'm going in. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. It's ratchet word tonight. It's ratchet word tonight. Watch your effing mouth. Stop playing games. It's time to get to it. Listen, I'm going to tell you what God told me, y'all. And I said it last night in Spring Hill. Want to give it to everybody across the world. Life and death is in the power of your tongue. And what's been happening is you have been cursing your future. With your mouth. Yeah. You've been cursing it. You have been cursing your future. This is the year of Jubilee. Let us not forget 2023 is the year of Jubilee, y'all. This is the year that God is going to do three things. Number one, he's going to restore. It's the year of restoration. Everything that you lost, he's returning back to you. Number two, it is the year of liberation. It is the year that literally God sets you free. It's the year of freedom, liberation. God is setting you free from all type of toxic soul ties, from all type of strong 
strongholds that's been holding you back, it is the year of liberation, of freedom, emancipation. And number three, it is the year of celebration. This is the year that God is going to blow your mind, do something incredible and supernatural. And it is a year that you can't do nothing about. It's spiritual. Happens every 50 years. You are living in your jubilee year this year. And what has been happening is because the enemy has been throwing things at you to get you emotionally tied up, emotionally a wreck, that, watch this, the Bible says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth will speak. So if he can get your heart revved up, worried, confessing all kind of crazy stuff, guess what happened? Out of your mouth, you will begin to Curse your future. Curse your life. Why? Because the Bible says out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth will speak. And life and death is in the power of the what? Tongue. So I'm either speaking two things out of my mouth. I'm speaking life and that more abundantly. Or I'm speaking death, decay, and destruction. And guess what? That's what you've been doing. Yeah. As of March 13th, 2023. Yeah, first quarter, the enemy been throwing all kind of hell at you. I know. I know. Because he been throwing hell at me. But God gave me a word. <laughs> oh, who am I talking to out there tonight? But God gave me a word. We about to switch this thing around. But before we switch it around, I'm going to help you tonight, y'all. I got, I'm, ooh. I'm going to give you that work tonight. I'm going to help you tonight. Proverbs 3, Proverbs chapter 13, verse 3. Proverbs chapter 13, verse 3. This is our motivational scripture for the week. For those of you who are new to Motivation Monday, it's your first time watching. This is how we do every week. I give you one, one, one scripture to focus and meditate on all throughout the week. And I give you power pack points of application to walk out that word and see it manifest in your life. That's it. That's the formula. That's what we do here on Motivation Monday. It is the official program for the Soul Tides movement coming to a city near you. Don't play with it. So watch it. Check it out. Proverbs 13 and 3. I'm going to give you uh, the new, I'm going to give you, let's go with the, the new life version. I'm going to give you that. I'm going to give you three different versions tonight. May even give you more than that, depending on how, how, how well y'all turn me up tonight. But, but check it out. Here it is. Proverbs 13 and 3 says this. He who watches over his mouth keeps his life. Stop the show. Stop Watch your effing mouth. The verse is right here, ladies and gentlemen. He who watches over his mouth keeps his life. But he who opens his lips wide will be destroyed. My goodness. <laughs> oh, what more do you want? But I get it. I get it. There's been some factors. There's been some factors. There's been some factors that I'm going to call the effing factors. The, yeah, yeah. you, Yeah, this is the love and life, Coach. This is my show. Y'all, I told you I'm going ratchet with it tonight. Yeah, we got some effing factors that we need to talk about tonight. <laughs> yeah, these, these three factors I'm going to give you. These three factors I'm going to give you are, are the catalysts for your chaotic confessions. I'm going to say it again. These three effing factors are the catalyst to your chaotic confessions. Teach, Dale. Here it is. Number one, your fearing mouth. Watch your fearing mouth. That's the first. That's woo. Yeah, you thought, uh, look, you thought it was nasty. We ain't getting nasty, baby. We getting, we getting, we getting right down to the nitty gritty. What you have been speaking has only been from the place of fear. 
You've been canceling your future out of fear. Out of fear. Oh my God, that's good. Ooh. God gave me something I'm going to give you for later on. Watch this, watch this. God hasn't given us a power of fear. God has not given us the spirit of fear, which carries a certain power with it. That power, watch this, is manifested when you speak fear or speak from a fearful place. That's why I said, number one is watch your fearing tongue. That's your first factor that's causing you to curse your life. Your fearing tongue. When you speak things out of fear ooh, and frustration. Oh, oh my God. First of all, I want you to know that it's spiritual. It's spiritual. What the enemy is trying to do with you is spiritual. He know he can't stop Jubilee. So what he has to do is get you to curse your confession by operating from a spirit of fear. So when you get scared, you start literally canceling what God is going to do, what he wants to do, all because you're afraid of what might happen. Oh my God. Somebody get in the comments right now. It's equivalent to touch your neighbor. Get in the comments right now and say, I ain't gonna let fear run my life. That's that Holy Ghost clap, y'all. Three claps. One for the Father, two for the Son, three for the Holy Ghost. I'm just telling you, I'm explaining to all my newcomers why I do what I do. <laughs> you can't allow fear to make you make a confession. Watch this, or a confession. <laughs> you ain't making confessions, you making confessions. You're speaking what your fear is telling you and not what your faith is telling you. Oh my God. That's why we got to cancel that. Yeah, watch your fearing mouth. Number two, your, uh, the, the second F factor, watch your forgetting mouth. Mm. Forgetting mouth. This goes out to all of you all who are soldiers, refugees, core citizens. Watch this. You listen to my messages. You know faith. You know what the word say. And all while you're on live, watching me, oh, you full of faith. But the moment you get outside of the presence of God, the moment you get to talking to your friends and getting in other places where, 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 where other people seem to outnumber you, all of a sudden, you forget what thus said the Lord. Stop the show. Stop the show. You know I'm telling the truth. You start to forget the word that brought you over. Watch this. The Bible says God is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. Shame on you for forgetting what God has done before. And because you have forgotten, your mouth will start speaking things as if God ain't able. Uh-uh, no, the devil is a lie. Now unto him that is able <laughs> to do exceedingly and abundantly above all, but you forgot that. You forgot that. You forgot that because of the people that are in your company. You forgot that because of the sin that's in your life. Because sin does call am cause amnesia. <laughs> oh, yes, yeah, sin separates you from God. So, therefore, it separates you from the word. Therefore, it separates you from remembering what God said about your situation. So, rather than speaking and calling those things that be not as though they were, you're calling those things as though they were because you forgot what the word of God said. My God, all oh, this is good tonight. So number two is your forgetting factor. And number three, watch this. Num num number three, watch your faithless mouth. Mm. 
That's a step up from forgetting. A faithless mouth is a mouth that knows faith, but don't have enough. Mm. You don't have enough. It, 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 it's not rooted in you. Uh, you, you. You got enough to believe in the beginning, but then as time goes on and where patience needs to be employed, you start getting worried and looking at the fact that it's taking too long. Who am I talking to? You start looking at delay, but delay is not a denial. You start looking at a closed door, but a closed door don't mean that's the only door. But, but see, you start looking at failure at first and lose faith. Listen, I don't care who you are, as long as you're living, if you're always going to wit witness some losses. You're always going to get a couple of no's. You're always going to get some closed doors. But that ain't the only door, and you don't got my only answer. I will keep going, oh my God, until I get my answer. But you're faithless, so you don't have enough faith to finish the fight. Mm. You don't have enough faith to finish your course. You're faithless. And you're allowing your faithless mouth to talk you out of concrete believing that God is going to do what he said he was going to do no matter what is happening. No matter what is going on. I'm going to keep faith in. So I need you to get rid of that faithless mouth, man, and, and turn it into a faithful mouth. Turn it into a faith in mouth where I'm faith in every step of the way. My faith is in action. It's active. It's moving. It's constantly growing. Every day I'm listening and hearing the word. My faith is getting bigger and bigger because I believe God. Woo. Now watch this. So let's do the recap, y'all. The three factors, the three effing factors that got you speaking wrong Confessions. Number one is your the fearing factor. Watch your fearing mouth. Your effing mouth. F all of them. F y'all get it so far. Watch your fearing mouth. Your mouth that speaks in fear. God hasn't given us a spirit of fear, but of what power, mm. love, and a sound mind. See, you got to beat the devil at the battle of, of where the warfare starts, and that's in your mind. You got to beat him. You got to beat him by overcoming fear with the power and with the love and with the intelligence of the word of God. <laughs> Number two, watch your forgetting mouth. Your forgetting mouth, the mouth that 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 makes you make confessions and you don't remember what God has done before. If he did it before, he'll do it again. If he did it for somebody else, he has no respect to person. He'll do it for you. But he does and he is a respecter of faith. So therefore, number three, you got to watch your faithless mouth. You got to watch your faithless mouth where you're always confessing. Watch this. You confess a scripture, but you really don't believe it. Mm. And you allow delay and the fact that you're going through trouble and, and all this stuff, you allow that to shake you and rock you and scare you out of really getting in faith deeply and believing beyond all odds. So I got three steps for you how, how you, how 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 we correct that. We got to correct this effing talk. We got to look, correct it. You look, the Bible says, he who watches his mouth, keep his life. We got to get your life back. Come on, somebody get in the comments right now and say, we got to get your life back. Yeah, yeah, we got to get your life back. I think I'm going to end with this message version right here. Yeah, this message version. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So here it is, y'all. This is how we get out of it. Yeah, we, F got us in it. F's, the F's got us in it. The R's are going to get us out. Number one, we repent. We repent. We repent for every negative confession we have made. We repent for speaking anything less and contrary to the word of God. You got to repent for it. Yeah, somebody put it in the comments. Say repent. Number two, we got to reverse that thing. We got to reverse the confessions we made. We got to reverse. In other words, we got to retort. We got to cancel everything that we said. We got to retract it. Ooh, that's good. We got to retract every negative thing we said, every curse we spoke on our lives. And then Watch this. After we reverse it, then we got to rehearse the new material. Ooh, that's good. We got to rehearse the new material. What is the new material? Instead of I can't do, I can do all things. Through 
Christ which strengthened me. Come on, somebody. Listen, weeping may endure it for a night, but joy come in the morning. Not, not I'm depressed, no. Joy. I'm joyful. I'm joy. Oh, my God. Yeah, you got, you got to rehearse the new material. Repent, reverse, rehearse. Listen, if you do that, if you do that, ladies and gentlemen, you will keep your life. Message version says it like this. Careful words make a careful life. Careless talk may ruin everything. I'm telling you right now, you have ruined everything because of your confession. But, but, but we can correct it. Thank God for Motivation Monday. We can correct it by watching our effing mouths. Watch the forgetting spirit. That's going to creep in, cause us to forget what God has already done. Watch that. Watch this. Watch that fearing spirit. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. That fearing tongue will have you confessing fearful confessions. And it will bring your life to ruin. And then watch your faithless tongue. Don't speak anything unless it's full of Faith. Here it is, Amplified, last version, y'all, and I'm out at 5,000. Listen, the one who guards his mouth, thinking before he speaks, protects his life. Woo. See, yeah, yeah, you got to think, you got to think, you got to contemplate. Don't let all those things, you got to contemplate and vet every thought that comes into your heart. Every thought, because you got to remember, a lot of them thoughts are the enemy's thoughts. That's the fiery darts that he shoots towards you. And the Bible says, casting down those imaginations and bringing it into captivity. Every thought against them. Oh my God. See, yeah, yeah, you got to fight. You got to battle in the mind. The warfare is in the mind. So therefore, I got to watch. I got to guard. I got to guard. Got to guard my mouth. Guard my mouth. How do I guard my mouth? By vetting and watching what's going in my heart. But, but the one who opens his lips wide and chatters without thinking comes to ruin. Don't ever be emotional. You are spiritual. For God is a spirit. Mm, he ain't emotional. He's a spirit. And they that worship him, worship him what? In spirit. Not emotionally. In spirit. So, so when I'm emotional, that's when I say stuff that I don't mean and I end up cursing my life. But if I just watch my effing mouth. <laughs> if I just watch my mouth, watch what goes into my heart, vet it, and I watch it. Come on, somebody. I watch it. Look at that. The devil man trying to cause destruction. Shut up. All that revving on that motor. I'm preaching up in here. <laughs> listen, listen. When I watch my mouth, ooh, that's when I vet everything that come in it and make sure that only thing that come out of it is what thus said the Lord, and that is life. And that more abundantly. Let me pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for this word. Whoa, we thank you for this word and this warning on to watch our mouths in this season. Why? Because one of the big three of 23 will be this was the year that we decree. So whatever we say, that's what's going to manifest. God, we repent for anything we said that wasn't of you. We retract it right now. We reverse the curse and we rehearse new material so we can set our new lives in order. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen, amen, and amen. Listen, my God, I want you to sow your seed right now. That 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 message deserves a seed. I don't care who you are. It deserves a seed right now. $23. $23 for the year of 23. This is the year of Jubilee, so therefore my entire 23 will be the year that I decree. Let's sow that. $23 tonight, y'all. Sow it right now on the Cash App, on the Venmo. The Soul Ties. That's T-H-E-S-O-U-L-T-I-E-S on Venmo and on Cash App. Or if you want to pay by credit card, don't have neither one of those, go to the soultiesmovement.com forward slash donate and drop off your seed right now. Get that seed in the ground. Listen, welcome all of my new soldiers to the movement, to the family every Monday night. I'll see you here next week. Same back time, same back channel. Until then, stay full of faith, stay focused, and most of all, stay motivated. God bless. Mm.